Well, uh, th these guys have definitely, you know, tried to step up to the challenge. I mean, I mean, it's, it's a challenge for all of us, to be honest with you, because of, you know, everybody learning something new, doing a bunch of different things. The, the teaching may be a little bit different. So I think these guys have, have definitely, you know, stepped up to the challenge and, you know, they take pride in, in trying to be the best at their craft. And, um, you know, I think they've, they've done a, you know, pretty solid job thus far. You know, we got a lot of things we can continue to work on and get better at. And, and a guy to me that's, that's kind of stood out and, and somebody who I was already familiar with just from recruiting uh, at other places I've been was uh, Javaris Johnson. And he's, he's been one of the most consistent guys. Question is from Dustin Ferguson. Yeah, I want to ask you about uh, Malcolm Johnson Jr. We didn't get to see him much last year, and he reclassified and, and all that. What does he got to bring to the table as a receiver to, to your guys' group? I think with, with Malcolm, uh, you know, he, he was a speed guy coming out of high school, and I think that, that he'll be a guy, uh, you know, that's going to continue to develop and, and continue to get better as a receiver. Because, like I said, he came in just having really, really good overall speed. And I think that he's going to be able to blow the top off and, and do some things, you know, getting some speed sweeps and, and moving him around. That, that's going to definitely help us out. Okay. Next is a question from Mark Murphy. Right, that's, that's very important. And, and that's something that, that, you know, Coach Harrison and, and Coach Bobo has continued to hit on. And that's something that, that we got to continue to work at is, you know, working on the scramble drill. And we have to be really, really good at, at the scramble drill because we do have an athletic quarterback. And he can get out of the pocket and he can create plays with his legs. And I think that's something that we just have to continue to harp on and continue to get better at as we go throughout spring. And we, we've definitely been working on that for sure. Appreciate it. Question from Bill Cameron. Yeah, Coach, uh, Bill Cameron from uh, The Drive on ESPN 106.7 here in town. Um, Kobe, with, uh, with, with Jed out right now and injured, I guess he's, Kobe's about the most experienced guy uh, that you have. And that's, that's odd for a guy that's just wrapping up his freshman year. What have you seen from him so far this spring? Well, Kobe, the thing with Kobe is, is he, he's actually really, in my opinion, uh, a natural born leader. Like, he... He's a guy, he's extremely strong. Um, he, he, he works hard. And the thing that, that Kobe has to continue to do is just to continue to work on his craft, continue to get better. But he shows and flashes that, that he has the talent to be really, really special. Question from Jordan Hill. <laughs> well, I, I, th I think the biggest thing with having this opportunity, uh, this, is, this is huge, not only for myself, but for my family and, and you know, everybody involved. Uh, it was a lot of people that, that helped me get to this point in my life, uh, not just this coaching career, but in my life. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, going through, you know, a bunch of different things to, to help build, you know, myself up, my character. Um, you know, and I think, man, growing up and, and being in this state and growing up and being around either Alabama or Auburn, you know, at, at my high school, I mean, I went to Hoover, you know, had a bunch of people that, that, that went to Alabama. We had a bunch of people that went to Auburn. So you were kind of in between. And, and, you know, growing up, you know, coming from my high school, a bunch of guys getting highly recruited. Shoot, I wanted to go to either one of them, whoever wanted to take me, to be honest with you. Um, and because I knew that was, that was being at the highest level, in my opinion. And... You know, the competition at this level is, is the best in the country. And, um, you know, being from this state, it, everybody knows what this is about. And, you know, when, when I finally got this opportunity or when I even had the chance or they even gave me the call, you know, I was, I was so excited, but at the same time I was, I was nervous, but at the same time I was, you know, I felt like everything that, I, that I've done uh, up to this point in my life, my career, the coaching, the coach from a coaching standpoint, it prepared me for this and um, you know I'm just thankful and blessed for the opportunity and that you know coach Harrison saw that in me 
because uh, all I wanted throughout this whole thing and, and going through the coaching was uh, this profession is just a, a chance and an opportunity, and he's given that to me, and I'm going to take it and run with it. Let's go to Nathan King. Right. I think I think, man, he, he, you hit on a good point of being all over the state because I really have. Uh, you know, I started off at South Alabama as a GA. I went to North Alabama um, and coached there, coached receivers, went to Jacksonville State, <laughs> went to UAB, Troy. I mean, so being all over like that was definitely huge for me. Just getting and building relationships, you know, throughout the state, uh, being around a bunch of great coaches and being around a bunch of great high school coaches seeing and meeting those guys and, and even, I mean, you know, kind of stealing ideas from those guys and, you know, just understanding how those guys work and do things and then seeing how they develop their players and, and their care for their, for their young people that they're, they're bringing up. Um, and, and even being from this state, you know, uh, family in Mobile, my whole family's in Mobile, moved to Birmingham at a young age and then a bunch of guys knowing me down there and then knowing me up north, I mean, in the middle of the state. And then playing that, in my opinion, in one of the best high schools in the country, you know, and everybody knowing who we were in this state, it, it was a very big deal. And it's, it's helped tremendously. Question from Brian Matthews. Hi, Cornelius. Thanks for speaking to us. Um, just wanted to ask you about the overall talent level. How do you feel about the group? Uh, and then uh, particularly wanted to ask you about Elijah Canyon. Uh, what stood out about him so far? Okay. Uh, from from a talent level, in my opinion, you know, we have the guys, but the, the biggest thing that, that, that the issue is is going to be that we're young, you know, and these guys aren't experienced. Like, you know, you said, it's, I mean, it's only been a few guys that have actually had some act, real game action. And, and everybody here knows how it is in this league, you know, playing against some of the best competition in the country. So the, the biggest deal is going to be for us is, is really, you know, putting in the work, the time, the effort. Uh, to be extremely detailed, you know, and, and work to be the best we can possibly be in this group. Um, and that's going to take, you know, that take place like Coach say, you know, go 1-0. and oh. And that's from the time that you wake up, you know, to the time that you finish at night. We have to do every little thing right in order to be, you know, a much better group and continue to, you know, gain that experience. And uh, with, with Canyon, uh, he, 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 he has done a, a really good job. That kid, he, he really works hard. He busts his butt out there. He, um, you know, he goes 100% when he's out there. And, you know, he's a guy that it, it really means a lot to him. And he is a guy that he's always asking me questions. Even before I came in here, he was calling me, asking me, hey, coach, you know, what, what's this or what's that? I mean, we were sitting there talking right before, literally before I came in here to talk to you guys. And um, it's, man, that... To me, when, when a guy does that, that means that he cares, and those are the kind of guys that we want to have on this pro, in this program and, of course, in the receiving room. But, I mean, you want guys that, that want to learn, that love the game, that love football, that want to come over here and, and be coached up, and that's what I've seen out of him and, and, and the rest of the guys. We've got three more questions in the chat, so we'll finish up with those. Let's go to Philip Marshall. Well, first of all, I, I've had the opportunity to play against Coach Harson twice as, as a coach. Um, you know, when I was at Troy, we, we actually went to Boise one time, and then they actually came to Troy uh, the next time. And so, you know, when, when we went out there and we played those guys, um, you know, what, what I saw was a team that, that was very, very disciplined, um, that, you know, they weren't going to get out of place a bunch. They, they understood and knew. You know, you can tell those guys played for each other, and it, it meant a lot to them. And I think, you know, when, when even when he first got hired, I, I watched his press conference because I sat there and I told my wife, I said, this was, this was actually a really good hire. I said, a lot of people probably don't know, you know, even know who he is or what he stands for, but I said, this is a really good hire uh, because of, you know, what he, he's been able to accomplish and, you know, what he's done, you know, over at Boise. And then, you know, what, what he has brought here, in my opinion, is just, 
it's it's the mindset and the culture and 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 what Auburn stands for. Uh, it's the you know you you walk around here, you see all this stuff on the walls, and it says you know uh, talk about working hard, you know believing that you can be the best, like all those those different things. That's what he's is pushing and and making sure that these guys understand in this program. Um, and he talks about you know being in the moment, and that's that's a really really big deal. And that's something that that I that I believe in, um, and I believed in my whole career of just understanding, like he said, going one and zero. And what that means is just waking up, putting yourself in the right mindset, coming in, you know, being on time, and then being consistent, you know, doing that over and over and over and over, and then not getting tired of doing that. And that's what it's going to take. I know. I mean, everybody knows to to win in this league, you have to be consistent. You have to be disciplined. Uh, I mean, of course, you have to have the players and whatnot, but it's, it, it starts with, you know, from the top to the bottom and everybody being on the same page. No problem. Question from Jason Caldwell. Hey, Courtney, this is Jason Caldwell inside the Auburn Tigers. Yes, sir. I, th I think with, with Javaris Johnson, first of all, the, the, the one knock is going to be his size. All right? and, and I tell you, if you got speed but has you know, his size, the, the biggest thing is going to be that he's going to be able to run and separate and get away from people. I've had a guy like him before that I've coached when I was at UAB. J.J. Nelson was extremely fast and, create, and could create separation. And Javaris can do the same thing. And you know, once he continues to work on his game and, and – you know, just just touch on the details of, of continuing to get better. Um, that's going to be a really, really big deal for him. And that's putting him in the right positions as well. You know, of course, not sending him in there to go block on, you know, 6'5", 6'3", linebacker. I mean, that's that's crazy. But at the same time, putting him in situations that can create matchup problems for people, uh, moving them around, you know, doing a bunch of different things. And I think that can definitely help us. And we'll finish up with a question from Mark Murphy. Yeah. Uh, talk about how important this recruiting class is going to be for you guys to restock the receiver group. And also, how important will it be for you to actually get out and meet these guys in person? Oh, <laughs> look, so <laughs> you, you're exactly right. I mean, we we definitely have to continue to recruit because the, the, with, with, the, with the recruiting is going to bring competition. And that's what we need all across the board. I mean, you have to have competition in order to be successful. I mean, every single team that I've ever been a part of or that's been in a winning team, I mean, I've seen it from, from when I was young to until now. You have to have competition because of what that's going to do is that's going to breed, you know, everybody competing with each other, and it's going to help breed success when you have, of course, the culture's right. But you have to go out and recruit guys that's going to come in and challenge the guys that you already have. So that's that's huge that we go out and do that. And then going out and being able to see these guys is a very big deal because not only are you just you're watching these guys play the game, you're watching their body language, watching how they handle adversity. You know, are they going to go full speed on this play? Are they going to I – mean, you, you're seeing everything that you can't see on the film when you're going out and you're actually seeing guys. Are they taking the coaching? Are they going out there and playing special team? And what you know? What what do, what do they look like when you're actually going and seeing them in person? You'll see a bunch of different things that you can't see from a highlight tape. Thanks, coach. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody.